Hey everyone, welcome to My World of Dolls. Oh, so usually I use my dolls to make videos and I do more um, episodes and kind of Barbie stuff, but today I'm doing a tutorial. Now, this happens a lot with dolls if you play. So if you're playing with dolls for hours and hours and if you get a new doll and like, put it in water, this is what happens. It gets frizzy hair. So I have this doll, which is a 90s doll. This was given by my mom's friend and she used to play this when she was young. So her hair, so as you can see, she used to play with it when she was so young. So her hair is so frizzy, like knots. And I do not want to comb it, otherwise this whole thing will be bad. So I'm finding out a way on how to make her hair from frizzy. Let's begin. Now to begin, we will use at least three items. You can use shower gel. Now I got you don't have to get the exact one just to make the doll's hair soft. You can use any company as long as it's the shower gel. Or you can use conditioner and shampoo. Not a little too broad. So I love this one because it smells so good. And I just want to try it on. I want her hair to be soft and sm smooth. Also, I want it to smell good. So yeah, so I'm using this one. <laughs> so one tip for um, making sure your doll's hair will be smooth and soft is that don't use hot water if you use hot water it might damage the hair and it can actually sometimes really make the hair come off easily so just use regular water water warm um, or if you want you can use cold so first we're going to take the doll we're just going to put her down there kind of down there and I'm just going to put some normal temperature water, so like warm. And I'm just going to soak her hair up. And you keep on doing this until her hair. And yeah, I'll just keep on doing this. Right, keep on doing this. Okay, my doll's hair is really watery and it's like wet. So I'm going to use a brush and I'm just going to go through all those knots and um, frizzy hair and try to comb it as best as possible. So I'm going to do that and I'll show you in a minute. So this is her from this and I'll show you the combing after I've combed it. Soon. Okay, here it is. I've combed it. It's actually kind of easy to go through the, the small knots, but there's still some way inside there. You can see that. Let me just show you closely. There we go. There are like so many knots that are big, which I can't do. So, so I'm going to use this lotion that can actually help it and will make the hair softer so I can go through all the knots. And we do that now. Here's my gel. I'm just going to take a small amount so that that shall do. And I'm just going to take a bit of water, just a bit, and I'm just going to rub my hand to make it soapy. And then I'm going to put it on my doll. Here's my doll. It's going to go everywhere in, through, through the knots, everywhere, just everywhere around the doll. So you're going to continue that. Yeah. I had to wash my hands because my hands were a big mess. And here's the doll. I just left it to dry a little bit, just a tiny bit, so soapy. And we're going to use some water to wash that off. I'm just now washing it up, 
washing and smoothing all the soap off the hair of her hair. Getting through those knots with my hands. And then we'll do it one more time. And we'll do this time while it's with soap, we're gonna go and comb through it. I'm just gonna keep on doing it. Here's another tip. So here's another tip. Do not use your own comb for, for combing the, the soapy hair. Instead, use your Barbie comb's hair. The comb for combing the hair. And it was really easy. All the knots have gone. And it looks really smooth. I hope this becomes a success. I'm now washing the hair. It feels so nice. And then now it's, let it dry, so put it on, put her hair on a towel and leave it for at least 30 minutes. Yep, that should be done and then you can comb it. So here's my doll lying on a towel and it's ready to be combed. I'm using this brush, it has hotter bristles, so it'll go through all the knots. I've combed her hair. I've gone through the hard knots, the really hard ones, and the soft and easy ones. And oh my gosh, she lost a lot of hair. Let me show you how much she lost. I was very upset to see this, but I guess it's all gone. It's like really loose and dirty hair. And now she has really clean and really pretty hair. So, um, yeah, this is all the yucky hair that she's lost. It's a lot feel bad for her. She hasn't been combed for like 40 years, so that's a lot. Now that I've combed her hair, we have to wait for 30 minutes and then we can go for the fun part, which is hairstyling, dress, she needs a new dress, and pretty shoes. And she'll look beautiful. And then we can show the before and after. Okay. We waited for 30 minutes and now it's my favorite part, dressing, hairstyling, and shoes. So, I have a big bag of clothes. <laughs> this is the whole bag of clothes I have, which I am going to be choosing only one out of this whole bag for her. And I have a lot of shoes here too. And more than this, this is just a small pack that I store, which I like. There, there are hundreds and thousands of shoes inside, all different sizes, and I'm going to just choose one from each, which I think suits her, and we're going to put that. Also, if you guys think I should do a video on how many clothes, what, what clothes you want to see, sure, I can do that. Just comment down below if the comments are allowed, or comment on, my, on some of the videos that the comments are allowed, that YouTube allows. So if you want to see me... So all my doll dresses separately and my shoes. Okay? So well, let's start. Now for her, I think she would suit in more bright colors, so maybe these kind of dresses. I also have one more which I think will look super cute. Is this yellow um, full dress, which I think will look good. But then, who wouldn't like a really pretty pink skirt? Oh my gosh, what about this? And um, maybe the skirt? Uh, maybe this purple one? Uh, oh no, I do not know what to choose. Oh great, I choose only one. So, I finally had a decision that I'm going for this. So this is a really pretty top and it goes really well with this bottom, so like these pants. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to put that on my favorite doll.
So how do you guys think? I think this suits her so much. I thought that bright colors wouldn't really look good like just some like red and orange or ye yellow but actually this really neon color from from the camera it looks dull but it's so bright and it really suits her she's so pretty I love I love this um mesh that's going all over here and also here and I think it's so pretty so now we're going on two shoes here are all the shoes I thought would look good on her doesn't this remind you of something? <laughs> this reminds me of candy corn. So the yellow shoes, they were yellow, white, and orange. And you know very well what I'm gonna pick. The orange one. I think it'll suit her really well. Here they are. Very pretty shoes. They're also bright. And I'm gonna put it on her. So, how do you think? I think it looks good. It is a bit small for her. It's like just there. But it kind of fits her. So, yeah. That's, that's what I'm going to put for her. I think she's done. Oh, no. Wait. Her hair. Her hair is soft and now very easy to style, but it doesn't look good. So we're gonna make her hair much better than before. We're gonna style it. So I'm going to do three hairstyles and I'm gonna choose one out of one, which is the best out of all the three. Here we go. Number one was to just leave her hair, just comb it, make it smooth. And I think loose hair would look good. That was number one. Number two with this easy ponytail. I think that also suits her. Looks so adorable. And yeah, so this was really easy to make. You just needed to take a rubber band and just tie on. So this is number two. And this is number three. <laughs> a very messy bun. Now, it became a really pretty bun at first. Then, because her hair is a bit short, it came off. So if I put a little hot water and then I put it in cold, maybe it'll settle down like that. So, this is option number three. She look, kind of looks like Cinderella to me. Reminds me of Cinderella. So yeah. So what I choose was the let out hair. I think it really suited her. It suited her with her personality, her dressing style, and it looked really pretty. So I've gone with the let out hair. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Much better than the before one. from that really bad, bad, really frizzy hair doll to this. She's amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe and like it. And I'll see you in another tutorial. Bye everyone!